Families belong together now and forever. Families together now and forever. Okay, we have people that want to demonize other people, that want to use people, we use families, cause this pain, cause this care, in order to score cheap political points. And we're here to say no, we're here to say families together, Wisconsin be the 12th state in the United States that becomes uh, a sanctuary state. This is an issue that is affecting families, many immigrant families that have been living here 20, 30 years. One of them is from Green Bay, Raimundo Moreno. He is a father of four, a grandfather of seven, a landscaper by trade, active in his church for many, many years, and for a simple driving without a license infraction. He was arrested and is now uh, facing deportation and separation from his family. There is, no, there is no crime here. The only crime is a system of laws that denies him his humanity, legalization, and unity with his family. At a local level, we are fighting for non-collaboration between the Milwaukee Police Department and ICE. We say, close the camps, keep families together. Si se puede. These are our brothers, our sisters that are being locked up in cages. These are our brothers and our sisters who live in fear every day of being taken and ripped from their homes. We will re-inject the humanity in our brothers and sisters on this day. Sisters, and we will love them as we love one another. Si se puede. Since Trump's administration is forcing people into the shadows for fear of being separated from their babies and put into detention camps. These two bills show what the Wisconsin idea is actually about. We are a state that welcomes vulnerable people coming here to seek a better life. We're a state that supports the rule of law and takes a stand against government overreach and constitutional violations. And as the people of New Richmond, Wisconsin showed earlier this year by rejecting a proposal for a privately run ICE prison, we are not in this here. Private immigration prisons run by for-profit corporations must never be allowed in the state. We are beyond disturbed by what's happening in our country. Since the start of just this year, ICE has detained roughly 600,000 migrants. ICE isn't dealing with a problem. They are creating the problem. <laughs> Our legislation will pause local contracts with ICE until the federal government passes broader legislation to give those aspiring to become Americans a clear and logical pathway to citizenship. Under this bill, the Department of Corrections is restricted from approving lockup facilities established for the purpose of detaining our non-citizen neighbors. These bills will work towards restoring the trust between our immigrant communities in Wisconsin and our law enforcement agencies. The current treatment of our fellow humans by the Trump administration is alarming, and Wisconsin is, today, taking action to protect our immigrant neighbors by keeping families together. Families together. Yeah. Right, one more time. Families together. Yeah. Families together. Yeah. As an immigration lawyer, I saw firsthand what it was like to be in these detention centers, how dehumanizing it is, and how desperate the people are. And that is something that we should not be allowing, in particular with babies and adolescent children. Our brothers and sisters are being terrorized. Their families are being ripped apart. They lost hundreds of babies that they can't even reunite with their family. And just think about that. We are persecuting people who left their countries because of persecution. Mm -hmm. I'm Puerto Rican, and we just ousted our governor. It's the people who are in charge. We are the ones that are going to take this to Madison and make this happen. Thank you so much.